and six and seven and oh, <gasps> oh. <laughs> yo my cute cute kitty Hi everybody, welcome back to this channel. Today I've decided to do a Q&A. I'm kind of relaxed, I'm laying down on my stomach. I've never done this before, but I thought, hey, why not? I'm just going to sit down, relax, actually have a chill vlog. Um, and yeah, we're gonna do this. So I have a bunch of questions from Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and we're going to answer them for you guys. So let's get into this. So the first ones I've got here are from Twitter. So the first one comes from the Jackson Hive, and they asked, what is your favorite and least favorite part about being a mum? Now, my favorite part about being a mum is definitely having a child, obviously. Um, but someone who is like half me, you know, Frederick has a lot of Jason's characteristics, char can't even say that word, characteristics, <laughs> I still can't say that word, um, but he has a lot of mine in him and that's something that I really love about being a mum is that I made a child who is half me and I really love that. Um, my least favourite thing about being a mum is definitely something that I've just recently opened up about and that is having or suffering from postnatal postpartum depression whatever you want to call it um but that is definitely my least favorite part about being a mum i never thought i would suffer from it um but unfortunately i do and i have to deal with it i do want to make a video about it a little bit in the future but um yeah that's definitely my least favorite part about being a mother next question comes from chasing keaton and they asked what was your reason that you started youtube mainly my reason of starting youtube was like i literally was obsessed with watching youtubers i became very obsessive about watching youtubers i started back in 2014 when i did my beauty channel and the reason basically i started youtube was because of shannon xo or shannon harris as she, her name is and i just watched her a bunch of times and i was just like i can do what she can do so i just pulled out my phone and started recording and that's basically how i got into youtube uh, kerry lee jones one asked us if you could choose a place to live in the world that's not in australia where would it be um hmm it would definitely either be in america or it would be in the island i just feel like the reason why i would love to live in america is because the culture is very different to Australian culture. Um, I just find it very interesting and I would love, love, love to live in America. I don't know exactly where, but somewhere in America. Why I would love to live in Ireland is because I do miss the countryside. I used to live on the countryside when I was a teenager with my mum, but I do miss it from time to time and I just think that Ireland would be such a beautiful country to live in with all, you know, the, the green grass and the hills and the animals. I just, oh, I wish. He also asked me what is one of my favourite girls' names if I have any. Now, I'm going to go with one that I think um, people won't use because, you know, everyone don't doesn't want to share their absolute favourite names because they're afraid that people will use them. But I feel like people won't use this name because it is very old fashioned. Fingers crossed no one uses it because I want to use it one day. Um, but the name that I really, really, really like for a girl is Ethel. I think it's such a beautiful, stunning name. I can just picture in my head a little girl with red hair, with curly hair and, you know, freckles on her face. I can just picture it. And I want that girl. Um, and I love the name Ethel for a little girl. Brittany Rosette asked me, how is it having Jason away for days slash weeks at a time? It must be hard doing it all by yourself. Oh uh, yeah, it is bloody hard doing this. Parenting gig, mother gig, um, wife gig, house living gig, animal parent gig it is bloody hard it is extremely hard but i have to do it i have to do this all by myself most of the time 
and I do definitely struggle. There is days that I definitely do struggle, but I, it's something that I've had to learn to love or be used to, I guess, because it is Jason's job. He's not coming back to Perth anytime soon to work. Um, so yeah, it's just his job to go away, you know, for two weeks at a time and then come back home. Um, it definitely was a lot easier when we didn't have a child, but we have a child now and I have to deal with it. So it definitely is hard. People that don't have a partner in the FIFO um, community definitely don't understand what I guess we go through mentally, even though it's hard. It's something that I wouldn't change because Jason gets six whole days home with Frederick and he wouldn't have got that if he worked in Perth. I've got a few more questions. So my next one comes from Alana Katz and she asks, how do you unwind after having one of those bad days? Um, now something that I love doing when I'm having one of those bad days um, is removing all my makeup and putting a face mask on. Most of the time I don't have enough time to, you know, put a bath on and soak in the tub. Um, but it is easy just to whip off my makeup and slap on a face mask and Frederick just stares at me like I'm a monster, but it is a good time to unwind, get my skin all fresh and clean. Another time to unwind is when Frederick comes to bed and I can pop into bed a little bit earlier and I can just lay there and enjoy the silence. That's something that I definitely like to do when I need to unwind. Also something that I bet you no one would say, but every mum and dad totally understand, is that you go to the toilet and instead of just sitting on there and doing your business and getting out, you literally sit on the toilet for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, like four hours. Just sit on the toilet and just have a moment to yourself because that's literally the only place sometimes that you can get quiet. Christine Whitney asked me what keeps you going with YouTube and picking up your camera every single day. What keeps me going with YouTube is definitely the sweet amazing comments that I get from you guys. Getting those comments every single day and morning makes me so 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 happy. Yes we get a few negative comments here and there but definitely the good overweighs the bad with YouTube for me. Um, another thing that um, keeps me going is I guess seeing our views go up is something I love seeing our stats go up stats make me so happy in the YouTube world and something that keeps me picking up my camera every single day is definitely Frederick Frederick is something that motivates me so much with with YouTube he makes so many amazing memories every single day and something that I get to do every single day is pick up my camera and capture those memories and that's something that really makes me want to continue with YouTube. And a lucky last question is from Jody Smith and she asked me, do you miss working um, slash would you want to go part time just so you can talk to an adult or do you like being happy being a stay at home mum? Well actually I am so bloody happy being a stay at home mum guys. I couldn't think of anything better than being a stay at home mum. It's something that I always wanted to be was a stay at home mum. Um, and I get to be that. I'm so happy that I get to be a stay-at-home mum. I'm so happy that I don't have to go back to work and Frederick doesn't get to grow up in someone else's eyes. That's something that I really love is I get to see my child grow up every single day, all day, every day. And that's something that I really like about being a stay-at-home mum. I don't really miss working life at all, guys. It is not something that I do not miss. I love being at home all the time. Um... I don't know, maybe one day we'll go back to work, but for now I'm happy being at home and just doing YouTube. It's something I really enjoy. And we do get a little bit of pocket money on the side from YouTube, so that makes everything a little bit better. Um, but I'm definitely not missing working life at all. Anyway guys, that is my q and I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow in our next video. There will be a vlog up tomorrow, but I just didn't really want to vlog today because the weather is disgusting and I'm stuck in this house once again. So I didn't want to vlog today. So we're taking the day off and this is why you got this video. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. My phone is going insane, guys. But anyway, we're going to get going and we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.